Shalom, family Messiah Shore. Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael coming back again with another Yahweh inspired message. I'll be reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 20, and starting at verse 1. Psalms 20 and verse 1. Again, Psalms 20 and verse 1, and I read Yahweh hear you in a day of trouble. The name of the El of Jacob defend you. Now turn to Exodus chapter 20. Exodus 20 and verse 7. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 7. Exodus chapter 20 verse 7. Again, Exodus, the book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 7. And I read, You shall not take the name of Yahweh your El in vain. For Yahweh will not hold him guiltless that takes his name in vain. I read that to say this. The creator of all things has a name. The creator of all things has a name. And his name is Yahweh. Now, it is not salvational on how we pronounce the name of the Creator. Because it is written in the scripture that at the second coming, He will restore unto His chosen nation, Israel, a pure language. So the Hebrew that one may learn in this life is not pure. It has been tainted by the intermingling of various languages which all descend from the Tower of Babel. So we ought not to be divided over how we pronounce the name of the Creator. This ministry chooses to pronounce the Creator's name as Yahweh. Another ministry may choose to pronounce the Creator's name as Yahuwah. Another ministry may choose to pronounce the Creator's name as Yahweh or Yaqua. Or another ministry may choose to refer to the Creator by the English title of God, God Almighty, Lord God Almighty, Most High. <clears throat> we shouldn't be divided over non-salvational matters because whether or not one pronounces the Creator's name is not salvation. It's written in Romans chapter 14. Romans 14 and verse 1. Him that is weak in the faith receive you, but not to doubtful disputations. For one believes that he may eat all things, another who is weak eats herbs. Let not him that eats despise him that eats not. Let him that which eats not judge him that eats, for Yahweh has received him. Who are you that judge another man's servant? To, whose, to, to his own master he stands or falls. Yes. He shall be holding up for Yahweh able to make him stand. One man esteems one day above another. Another esteems every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. So family, let us not be divided over non-salvational matters. Such as how you pronounce, well, how you choose to pronounce the creator's name. We ought to be one 
mind and one judgment in matters that pertains to salvation. That is the doctrines as itemized in the Seraphite Scriptures, such as the truth that the Creator is one, that the Creator of all things <clears throat> is a solitary individual being who is all-powerful, all-knowing, and ever-present. The Creator has a name. His name is not Jesus. His name is not Yeshua. Because Yeshua, which is the, is what Jesus is trans, transliterated from, is the name of Yahweh's Son. Yeshua, or Jesus, is the name of Yahweh's Son, whom Yahweh appointed to reconcile man back unto himself. So the Creator has a name. His name is not Jesus or Yeshua. The Creator's name is Yahweh. God Almighty, Lord God Almighty, these are titles. These are titles. Of the creator of all things. When the scripture says. We are not to take the name of Yahweh in vain. It means we must put respect on his name. And we put respect on the name of the creator. Which is Yahweh. We. Are living in accordance. To every word that proceeds out of his mouth. So when you put respect on the name of Yahweh, you're living according to every word of Yahweh. Not taking the name of Yahweh in vain does not, or rather is not limited to how you pronounce his name or if you choose to pronounce his name. But you must have understanding and discernment that the creator of all things has a name. And if you have an understanding. And a discernment. Then you. Will be comfortable. Pronouncing the name. Of the creator. Forsake the lies of man. That says that it is a sin. Or that it is a prohibition. Against. Saying the name of the creator. That's a lie. <clears throat> because the scripture says the name of Yahweh is a strong tower. And the righteous runs into it and are safe. Are preserved. Are protected. So if you have understanding. If you have discernment. You will be comfortable. You will be confident. You have that assurance in saying and acknowledging that the Creator have a name. However you choose to pronounce the name of the Creator. This ministry, I'm comfortable and have assurance and have confidence in pronouncing the Creator's name as Yahweh. I choose to pronounce the Creator's name as Yahweh. That's the Creator's name. Forever and ever. When we put respect on the name of Yahweh. We live according to his, to his every word. And out, outlined in the Seraphite scriptures. Be mindful that the creator's name is not Jesus or Yeshua. Because Yahweh. Is the eternal almighty. Yahweh is the one and exclusive deity. The definition of deity is one who is all-knowing, all-powerful, and ever-present. No man is deity. No man whatsoever is deity. Because no man is eternal. No man 
is all power. No man is ever present. This is applicable to Yahweh's son. He was not and is not deity. This is not applicable to angel or melakim. For no angel or melakim are deity. For no angel is all powerful and all knowing and ever present for the angels. For man. For Yahweh's son. Jesus the Messiah. They were created by the creator. By Yahweh. So get the understanding. Get the discernment. That the creator of all things has a name. <clears throat> but you must also understand. And discern. That it is not salvational. Or pertain to salvation. How you pronounce. The name of the creator. The name of the most high. The name of. God almighty. Or Lord God almighty. It's not salvational. It is not a sin. It is not a sin. Whether one chooses to use. English. Titles. And. Descriptions. To re acknowledge. The creator. If you choose to make it a sin. Of using Lord. Using God. Using almighty or most high. You add to the scripture. If you add to the scripture. Yahweh will add to you plagues that he deems suited to add to you. So what's doctrine is whatsoever is written in the scripture. What's not doctrine is that which is not written in the scripture. Again, our faith must be in agreement with whatsoever is written in the scripture. Yahweh is the name of the creator. Means the creator had a name. If you're in a relationship with Abba Yahweh. Even a covenant relationship with Abba Yahweh. Then you will become comfortable. You become confident. You have that assurance. And that boldness. To acknowledge the creator's name. Which, according to this ministry, is Yahweh. Another ministry may choose to acknowledge the Creator's name as Yahuwah. Or Yah. As long as you acknowledge that the Creator has a name. His name is Yahweh. Jesus, or Yeshua, is the name of the Son. Not the Eternal Son, now. For Jesus the Messiah is not the eternal son. Jesus the Messiah did not exist before creation. Jesus the Messiah was created in the womb of Mary, his mother, by Yahweh. Jesus the Messiah is not deity. He was a man used of Yahweh. To restore the image and likeness of Yahweh in the earth. So get that understanding. Let us not be divided over how we pronounce. Or choose to utter or acknowledge the creator's name. Whether you choose to acknowledge the creator's name as Yahweh. Or Yahuwah. Or Yahweh, or Yaqua, or Jehovah, or you choose to acknowledge the Creator by His title of Lord God Almighty, or Lord God, or God, you must have the understanding and the discernment that those are titles. Titles of this Lord simply means master or ruler. So, Lord 
not just is applicable to refer to the creator of all things, but Lord is also applicable to an owner of an estate, of a house. The husband, he the Lord. God, in Hebrew, is Elohim. Elohim is not just limited to the creator of all things, but Elohim also refers to rulers. Governor Roy Cooper is an Elohim of the state of North Carolina. President Joe Biden is an Elohim of the United States. Elohim simply means mighty one, ruler. Elohim refers to any ruler, any governor, any president, any prime minister who lead a state or country or city. Elohim in English God or El in English God. So let's not be divided over things that are non-salational. But let's be one in, that, in things that are pertaining to salvation. The Creator has a name. Let's be one mind, one judgment in that truth that the Creator has a name. And the common link between Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahawa, Yahquah is Yah. So, I choose to pronounce and comfortable and confident and assured in pronouncing the Creator's name as Yahweh. Understanding and discerning that Yahweh is the name of the Creator, not the name of no man, of no angel, of no evil spirit. The name of the Creator is Yahweh. So let us have understanding. Let us have discernment. Let us not be divided over trivial and non-salvational matters. But let us hold fast to the faith once delivered unto the seraphite ones of old. As written in Jude. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common or shared salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was delivered unto the separate ones of old. So we are to hold fast to the shared salvation. That was given to the seven ones of old time. And if you have received that shared salvation with the seven apostles and prophets of old, with the seven Messiah and King to come, Yeshua of Nazareth, then you would have been converted according to the one established doctrine. As written in the scriptures, according to Acts chapter 2, verse 38, you would have repented of your sins and would have been baptized and water in the blessed name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of your sins and the regeneration of your soul, and you would have received the blessed baptism of the Holy Ghost as initially evident by speaking in another tongue, and Yahweh permits one speak. Let us hold fast to that shared salvation. Though first given unto Messiah Yeshua and to his apostles that came after him. And to those true apostles and prophets that Yahweh promised to raise up. 
So let us hold fast to that shared salvation. The Creator has a name. When we do not take His name in vain, we put respect on His name. By living according to every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahweh. We are commanded to live according to every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahweh. We are commanded to be obedient to every word of Yahweh. For all scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh. All scripture is given by inspiration of Abba Yahweh. And it is our duty. It is our solemn and sacred responsibility and obligation to live according to every word of Yahweh. You're not living according to every word of Yahweh. You shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh to come. You're uh, duty bound if you're a believer in the word of Yahweh. You are held to a sacred oath and vow to live according to every word of Yahweh. Put respect on Yahweh's name by living according to his set word. Put respect on the name of Yahweh by obeying the words of his ministers, of his messengers. You put respect on Yahweh's name. For you don't put respect on Yahweh's name, you are courting death. You are placing yourself under the judgment, the indignation, the curses, and the plagues of Yahweh. If you don't put respect on Yahweh's name. If you don't put respect on Yahweh's name, Yahweh's up to kill your ass. He don't care who you are. If you don't put respect on Yahweh's name, he'll kill your ass. He'll destroy you. That's why you put respect on his name by reverencing his ministers. For Yahweh's name is in his ministers. His sovereign authority, his sovereign and absolute power is in his messengers. And if you don't put respect on his name by reverencing his ministers, he will kill your ass. That's a guarantee. And there's nothing you can do to stop Baba Yahweh from killing your ass. From laying siege to your entire country. To laying siege to an entire earth. For this creation belongs to Yahweh. He is sovereign over all things. And there's nothing and nobody that can match him, that can rival, that can overcome our Yahweh. Nobody. Absolute nobody. For Yahweh is absolute power. No rival. No equal. None whatsoever can surpass and exceed Abba Yahweh. Put respect on Yahweh's name. Unless you court death. You better put respect on his name. Unless you court death. Because Abba Yahweh is known to fuck with. If you continue to fuck with Yahweh. He guaranteed to fuck your ass up. That's the problem. You don't care how many you have. You don't care what earthly authority you have. Because no earthly authority outweighs and exceeds Yahweh's sovereign and absolute authority. Now put respect on the name of Yahweh. Respect his ministers. Respect his set apart nation, Yisrael. O Yahweh, in the name of your beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach. I thank you for granting your servant another opportunity to speak forth your word of truth with inspiration, revelation, and power. Draw your chosen to both hear and receive your word. Let your word, let your power 
Let your infinite and healing mercies penetrate the hearts of your elect ones that it may produce repentance unto life. According to your word, you said it is quick, powerful, sharper than any two of sword. Dividing asunder soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and piercing. To the discernment of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Your word is forever settled in Shamaim. So let your word, O Yahweh, be exalted in the earth. Magnify and express your sovereign and absolute authority in your ministers that you charge the priest and teach in your name, O Yahweh. Bring fear back to the earth, O Yahweh. Everyone who seeks to oppose and contend against and oppose and oppress your ministers, your masters, your people renew Israel. You curse them, O Yahweh. You plague them. You send down your unrestrained and unbridled fury upon them. Such upon my enemies in both Rockford Police Department and Rockford Sheriff Department. You continue to plague them. You continue to curse them. You can descend into them and abiding upon them your great and unrestrained fury until they are destroyed, O Yahweh. Show forth your great right hand and your great set apart arm in destroying them and crushing them beneath your feet. You show forth your great power in this earth. As in the days of old. You show for your great power. Show for that you are absolute and unrivaled sovereign. That you are the creator, O Yahweh. I give your name honor. Glory and praise, O Yahweh. I thank you for being with your people. For setting upon your people renewed Yisrael. Your perfect love. For watching over us. For guarding us. For charging your Melachim. To surround us at all times. To guard us from every evil work. And work of darkness. I thank you Yahweh. I praise you. I honor you. So be it. So be it. Remember family. Please show your support. By sending a donation to my Cash App or PayPal or Money Grab or Western Union. As you're able and enabled of our Yahweh. Please show your support by sending a donation. Not by compulsion or out of grudgment. But please do so voluntarily and cheerfully. As you're able, please send a donation. The information for where you can donate. Cash App, PayPal, MoneyGram, Western Union is in the description of Spreaker or, or YouTube. Pray for your blood brother. May y'all bless all those that will hear and receive his word. May y'all bless all those that will cheerfully and voluntarily give without grudging or compulsion. I love you all, family. Shalom. Shalom. And Shalom.